Little did you know that poison is basically lurking at every turn. Of all the things that could poison you in this world, some are at the top in terms of how potent and quick that they're able to kill, and most of them you either never heard of or have access to and didn't even know could kill you. Get ready because here are the 10 most poisonous things on Earth. Number one is blue ringed octopus venom. No larger than a golf ball, the blue ringed octopus is the world's most venomous marine animal. Primarily found in the tide pools in coral reef around Australia and Japan, you definitely want to stay away from these guys no matter how cute and docile they may seem. Blue ringed octopus venom contains tetrodotoxin, a neurotoxin that is so powerful that it will cause blindness, nausea, respiratory failure, paralysis, and a very painful death. You know this thing's about to attack when its signature yellow skin with blue and black rings start to turn brown, and the rings go iridescent and start pulsating. Yeah, then it's just time to swim away. The venom from one blue ringed octopus is strong enough to kill 26 humans in minutes. And since the bites themselves are usually small and painless, most people don't even know that they've been stuck until heavier symptoms set in. Since scientists haven't been able to come up with a successful anti-venom, hospitals can only put victims on ventilators until all toxins wear off if they even do. Okay, I think I'm gonna pass on calamari for a while. Number two is cyanide. The second item on this list is one of the most well-known and most dangerous poisons out there. It's so lethal that it can cause immediate death to anyone who comes into contact with it. Cyanide is a chemical that can be turned into a colorless gas or a white powder. When poisoned, a person will begin to have difficulty breathing, followed by dizziness and nausea, which will then lead to convulsions and ultimately death. Cyanide actually occurs naturally and can be found in apricots and other stone fruits, which contain small traces of it in their pits. It can most easily be identified because of its bitter almond smell. But don't try to smell it, because you won't die. Cyanide has actually been used a lot in warfare and was one of the active ingredients in the gases the Nazis used in extermination camps. And the cyanide pill, which you've probably heard of, is an open secret amongst spies and military officials. If captured, rather than divulging state secrets, the captive can commit suicide by biting into a capsule containing the poison, which is kept hidden, often wedged in a tooth. Number three is cone snail venom. With venom strong enough to kill 20 adults with a single drop, it's no wonder that the cone snail is considered one of the most dangerous animals in the entire world. Cone snails actually have a hollow barbed tooth, like a little harpoon that they use to hunt prey. It extends from the snail's head and is so sharp that it can even pierce through wetsuit fabric. They're found in warm tropical waters all around the world, and there are nearly 600 different species of cone snails, and they vary in size and appearance, but one thing that they all have in common is that these little guys are extremely venomous. The sting of a small cone snail is similar to a bee sting, which can be bad enough, but getting stung by a bigger snail can be fatal. If infected with a high dose of venom, victims will experience vision loss, respiratory failure, muscle paralysis, and of course, death. And the worst thing is that so far there is zero anti-venom for the cone snail sting. So if you see one of these, just walk away from it because you're going to die. Number four is strychnine. Who would have thought that something used as a treatment for a number of medical conditions in the past would turn out to actually be a super poisonous substance? Strychnine is a crystalline alkaloid, which occurs naturally in some seeds, like the dog button plant that grows in tropical climates. When extracted, it's colorless and has a bitter taste. More importantly, strychnine is highly toxic. This stuff could kill a person within just a few hours of ingestion. It attacks the 
central nervous system, shutting it down before paralyzing the respiratory pathways, leading to death by asphyxiation. In the late 1800s, strychnine was actually thought to have similar effects to caffeine and was used by athletes as a performance enhancing drug. But today, strychnine is used in pesticides and rat poison. Some drug dealers are even known to add it to heroin to make the effects, get this, smoother. Yeah, just give me that good rat poison. <laughs> Number five is box jellyfish poison. The next deadly sea creature is the box jellyfish, but this one needs a bit of a closer look, mostly because it's so transparent that it's practically invisible. Well, that's good to know if you're going for a swim. The box jellyfish can be found in tropical oceans near Asia in Australia, but it has been spotted as far from their habitat as California. They can grow to be up to a whopping 10 feet long, and just one of them has enough poison in it to kill 60 adults. With its painful sting, the poison goes straight into the bloodstream. The venom increases blood pressure and can actually lead to a heart attack and a very painful death. If a person is unfortunate enough to get stung by this creature, soaking the wound in vinegar can actually help with the pain, but because the poison is so strong, you have to get to a hospital as fast as you can because it's practically a race against time. Fortunately, there are many life-saving treatments available for their sting. Have I completely turned you off the ocean yet? Okay, you're welcome. Number six is mustard gas. Despite its name, this is not the type of mustard you want to be bringing to your next barbecue. Sulfur gas, or mustard gas as it's more commonly known, was given the name because of its yellow-brown color and smell, which has been compared to mustard or horseradish. German scientists developed the chemical during World War I to use as a weapon alongside their heavy artillery forces in order to debilitate large armies. The scariest thing is that the gas can easily penetrate through clothes and cause severe chemical burns and blisters to form on a person's skin, eyes, and in their respiratory system. Victims can die from the intensity of the burns or damage to the lungs when it's inhaled. But surviving an attack with this stuff is no treat either. The gas can cause temporary and permanent blindness, disfigurement, and even cancer. Pregnant women who have been exposed to small amounts of mustard gas have a much higher chance of having a baby with birth defects or cancer as well. Number seven is stonefish venom. The stonefish is considered to be the most poisonous fish in the ocean, and man, it's sure not trying to win any Miss Congeniality awards. They're found in the waters around Australia and tend to hang out on the ocean floor, hiding amongst the rocks and sand. But don't think you'll be safe if you stay out of the water, because these guys can actually survive on land for up to 24 hours. If you're unlucky enough to step on one of these seriously ugly fish, they have 13 spikes on their backs that will inject their venom deep into your foot. But it gets worse because the toxins from a stonefish sting start to work pretty quickly, causing swelling, necrosis, paralysis, and of course, death. The pain that shoots up the victim's leg is so intense that people have actually begged to have their leg cut off. One victim described it as having each knuckle, then wrist, then elbow, and shoulder being hit in turn with a sledgehammer over the course of about an hour. Oof. Luckily, there is an antivenom, which may or not surprise you to learn, is the second most administered antivenom in Australia. Number eight is Indian Red Scorpion Venom. The Indian Red Scorpion is one of the most common creatures on this list and can be found in densely populated areas in India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. It's actually been rated the most deadly scorpion in the world and is responsible for a number of deaths every year, especially amongst young children. One sting is severely painful and will cause sweating, vomiting, convulsions, foaming at the mouth, and blackouts. If it's not treated quickly, the venom will work its way through the victim, attacking the heart and lungs, leading to pulmonary edema and death. And in a bizarre twist, the venom can even cause priapism, which is, well, let's just call it nature's cruel and painful Viagra. Talk about diehard. Anti-venom has been developed to fight the effects of venom from other species of scorpions, but unfortunately it hasn't proven to be very effective in treating the Indian red scorpion stings. So it's probably best to just avoid these little creeps, because you go and get a hard death boner. 
Number nine is Botox. The most toxic substance on the entire planet is botulinum toxin, or as it's more commercially known, Botox. It's a naturally occurring neurotoxin that can be found in soil, dust, and contaminated canned foods. And man, this stuff is lethal. One single teaspoon is powerful enough to kill one billion people. I'm gonna say that one more again for you, one billion. So you might be wondering how people inject this stuff into their faces and not end up just dying immediately. Well, in cosmetic products like Botox, botulinum is used in extremely small doses in order to paralyze the muscles that cause wrinkles and to treat excessive sweating. But because humans can only take the tiniest amount of it, poisoning is all too possible. A deadly dose will attack the central nervous system, causing blurred vision, nausea, heart attack, and full paralysis. All of this, of course, before eventually, you guessed it, a slow and painful death. And number 10 is arsenic. Arsenic is actually a naturally occurring mineral that's used in lots of everyday items like car batteries and pesticides. But it's also highly toxic and has a pretty dark history. Arsenic has been used as a weapon of choice for many murderers over the centuries because it was nearly impossible to trace. Small doses of arsenic can cause jaundice and a skin rash, but if given in a higher dose, a victim of poisoning will experience intense intense pain, vomiting, and diarrhea. Convulsions and a coma aren't far behind, and within just a few hours, circulatory failure will ultimately lead to death. But arsenic poisoning doesn't just happen in tales of murder and revenge. Today, nearly 140 million people in over 70 countries are under threat of poisoning from arsenic-contaminated water. This is because it occurs naturally in deep levels of groundwater, but becomes dangerous when well are dug too deep and used as a main water supply without proper treatment. In fact, there have been 20 major incidents reported in Asia, but arsenic contaminated water has also been found across the United States. See, this is why I just drink bottled water. It freaks me out. So those were the 10 most poisonous things on this planet. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And of course, thank you guys so much for coming by today. Remember to come back tomorrow at exactly 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time because I'll have a brand new video for you. I'll see you then.